Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today's live um, training. Um, we are talking about how to tap into your zone of genius and attract your dream clients. So uh, if you're here, give me a like. Um, uh, let me know who, who you are, where you're from. Uh, so are you interested uh, to attract dream clients, to attract more clients? Please give me a like and comment. Thank you so much, Ian. Wonderful to have you. If you're interested to, to uh, attract dream clients, please let me know. Because today I'm talking about how to tap into your zone of genius and attract your dream clients. Now, if you don't know who I am, I am Sabine Mataru and I am the Fast Track Business Launch Strategist. And uh, I help um, business owners attract more clients, um, startup, uh, help startup businesses as well as helping um, getting over all the tech stuff, um, building online sales funnels and making things e easy and reduce overwhelm. So, Ian, do you know what a zone of genius is? Hi, Christine, welcome. We're talking about um, attracting dream clients uh, through getting into this, your zone of genius. Okay, so let's get started. Um, it's about 10 minutes or so I'm going to reveal to you how you can tap into your zone of genius and attract your clients. Um, before I get started, if you do know any entrepreneurs that could benefit from attracting more clients, please do share this video. Also, please comment and like. I'd like to have an interactive session because I would like to hear from you as well. Um, I also have a free Facebook group where we can continue the conversation. I do share more on these type of topics as well as business related topics. Um, I do two live trainings a week as well. There are worksheets, checklists, and there's a super surprise coming in to the group as well next month. So the, the, the link to the Facebook group is in the description. So feel free to um, come in and join me. Okay. So. Let's get started. What is your zone of genius and how can you tap into your zone of genius and get ideas around how to attract and reach your ideal clients? So Ian, I know I understand, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna explain this. Okay, so I think I was in my zone of genius last night when I wrote this because I really had the urge of, of getting this on paper and I'm sure all of, all of us um, experience that time when we are relaxed. Um, we're perhaps just about to go to sleep um, and we have all these new ideas. We've got these exciting ideas. We perhaps even get some new insights that weren't there before. And that is really important. What I do is I actually keep a, a notebook next to my bed because when I go to sleep, um, I, so just before going to sleep, I get all these amazing ideas for my business, okay? So it is important that you do capture those new insights and that through that, you can actually develop a thought leadership. And through thought leadership and new thoughts, you can actually make yourself stand out from the, the crowd, from the rest in the business, and you can actually bring more value to your clients. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know if if uh, that happens to you when you go to sleep or perhaps you're in a relaxed state of mind that you actually coming up with all these ideas. So make sure you capture them. So give me a like uh, and or a heart if that is something that happens to you as well. So, um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so how do we stand out? in business okay i mean yeah we all have knowledge and expertise but really think about it your competitors might have the same amount of knowledge and the same amount of expertise so what can you do differently now you might be thinking i'm stuck but really you have it all within you okay what we need to do is we need to listen to ourselves and our inner voice because we really we are resourceful human beings and we we can get all the answers from within ourselves 
okay? Um, I'm sure that probably a long term, time ago, we actually unlearned the ways of listening to ourselves because your life is so busy, social media is so busy, there's so much information um, around so that we, we're actually, the things, it's so noisy in our heads, right? But if you listen to it, to our inner self and to our unconscious mind um, in a of relaxation or just before going to sleep, that state of mind is actually giving us all the answers. And then it's about trusting ourselves with our gut feelings as well. And it's about making the decisions that really feel right in our lives. Like, for example, do you sometimes get a feeling when you're talking to a potential client, whether, you know, you're like on the same, way, same wavelength or not? You, you probably get a feeling whether it might feel right or not to work with that person, yes or no. Okay. So how does it make you feel being on the same wavelength? and then perhaps even having a vivid discussion, feeling excited. And it doesn't really feel like a sales conversation, but rather the development of a, of a friendship. Um, does it happen to you? It feels like, it doesn't feel like robotic. When you connect with someone, then the conversations just flow and it's really exciting. And, and I feel that I have that connection with my clients because when we then start working with each other later on, it just feels like more fun and we're just achieving, we're creating. And, and I just know it was the right decision. And it was, and also my clients know it was the right decision for them. But on the other hand, if we are forcing ourselves working with someone where something in your gut has told you otherwise, right from the beginning, and then later on, have you ever made the experience or, or maybe it was a decision in your life, not just working with somebody, but a decision to get involved with something or to buy a certain item and your gut just, it just didn't feel right from the beginning, but you thought, oh no, I'll, I'll try it. But then later on, have you ever made the experience that it was never right, that things just didn't flow, it just didn't turn out the way you were hoping and you kind of thought, yeah, I, I thought it was, was not going to happen or someone else said, I told you so. Yeah. And Ian says, I've never been, uh, oh yeah, I've been there a few times. Um, I don't think I can work with them. Yeah, absolutely. You, you know, life, life is, life is too short and you know, we, we want to have fun. Um, and we, when we work with someone, like for example, with my clients, I really want to help them get the results. And I'd rather work with someone who, who is on my wavelength as well. So that's, that's the way we, we drive results. We get there because we understand each other. Because if, if it, it's just not quite right, then, you know, perhaps conversations didn't flow perhaps you had different opinions or different expectations and then you might even have a rather poor outcome so really how do we want to attract our ideal clients now we want to tap into our zone of genius and then unleash the information that's within us the answers and the messages um that we receive are the, the, the things that we can then go and implement in our, in our uh, business because we want to give the messages to our client so that we actually match with what they need and we also speak in language of the idea client, listen to them what they need and they will be able to relate to you um, and you will find that you are going to be on the same wavelength and don't try to shoe shoehorn yourself into trying to deliver something which you, you can't you've got to be open and honest and that is the foundation of a great working relationship that you can build on so what you need to do is you also need to couple your messaging with listening in 
to what your clients need and then apply them correctly to positioning your offer and then clearly articulate the results that you're going to achieve for them. And then the conversation can only be a success. Yeah. That's the trick. Yes, Ian. Understand each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. And sometimes it can be difficult because if you're operating in an online world, there can be misunderstandings when we are um, writing messages to each other or you just, you know, hear half of a message that someone's someone's telling you and it may be easier to have face to face connections and and there's probably a different atmosphere a different feel in the room and 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 i, I felt that ian when we met face to face is is quite different and it was real a real buzz so i'm almost finished i just want to recap what are the things that you need to do in order to really connect with your ideal clients tap into your zone of genius and attract those clients. Okay. So first and foremost, we've got all the answers within ourselves. We just need the time out to listen. We are resourceful. Then secondly, follow your gut. If things don't feel right, if things don't flow right and you're not on the same wavelength, don't try to force it. And thirdly, connect, connect up with your ideal clients um, <clears throat> through listening to them and, and, and really um, understand what their needs are and then present the solution to them and how you can work together. And that will come naturally anyway, if you're on the same wavelength and if your client is also listening to their gut and it just feels right. Okay. So uh any questions any more questions so if you if you would like to learn more about um things about uh, attracting clients crafting a clear message to your ideal target market perhaps even how to position yourself in order to convert your ideal clients into paying clients Perhaps you are stuck with um, the tech stuff like sales funnels or website. I'm there to help you make it super, super simple. And I would love you to join my Facebook group where I'll be running um, something very, very special next month to help you with all that stuff. And I'm also doing um, two um, live trainings every week. You've got uh, free worksheets and workbooks around all of these um these topics that I just uh, mentioned. So, um, thank you, Ian. I love your videos as well. <laughs> thank you for your support. Um, yeah, I, I I got a lot of um, a lot of comments because uh, I was asking what are the things that you need help with, and a lot of people said um, I don't know what to post on social media. I am really stuck with the tech stuff. I, I, I don't have a website or I don't think my website is good. And I am very stuck with a sales funnel and converting people um, and, and having sales conversations. So I am aware, well aware of what the challenges are. So, so please come and join us in my Facebook group. The link is in the description and then come and join the conversation. You can mingle in, ask questions, and get all the answers that you need. Thank you very, very much. My voice is going. <laughs> Might need some water now. But it's great to hang out and to, um, you know, just to answer questions and hearing from you guys. And I shall be back on Thursday with another topic. Um, you can let me know what, what you would like me to talk about. You can ask, ask me questions so I can prepare that for Thursday with 2 p.m. UK time. So thank you. Love you as well. Bye-bye. <laughs>